So hello and welcome to Cookies Fishing Capers and if I'm looking a bit sweaty and a bit worn out it is pretty much as accurate as you're ever going to get because I have decided to fish on the BAA section in Arley and I've probably took the furthest peg away from where my car is parked. It is approximately between half past four and quarter to five uh, it's been a long day at work today, so I'm very much up against it. I have flavoured some chickpeas there um, in curry powder. And I've done them in the um, air fryer. Uh, yes, folks, my wife bought us an air fryer. and It wasn't by my design, it was by her. And she, uh, I thought, well, I've got to give it a whirl. So these are my first air fried chickpeas. And as you can see, I'm just gonna bring it a bit closer to you. Not looking too bad at all. Um, no skins on them. I air fried them for, I can tell you exactly what it was. It was four minutes on 200. You can just about see my rod, just to my right and here. As you can appreciate, it's starting to rain. I have to be careful with the camera equipment when it's like this, <clears throat> especially in the area I am at the minute. Um, I've had a couple of little twitches, but no, nothing that's substantial at this very moment. Um, rather frustrating, but you've got to stick with it. It's only my fourth casting. And I, you probably just saw there had a, something interest I think there. Well I said it'd be a case of knit one pearl one. But my first fish is actually not a huge chub but a nice chub. Just one moment. So my first chub, not a bad little one to start with. Give it about a pound and a half, but I'll take that all day and night. And uh, yeah, great start. Get this in before it rains. You can probably tell from behind me, those clothes aren't looking too nice. I've been fishing for about an hour and 20 minutes. One chub, I can't grumble. Um, but let's see what else might happen. I've stuck with this double chickpea situation. I'm just seeing if anything might happen. I'm getting a bit of a few little taps, but nothing that's, um, shall we say, barbellish. Nothing that's, you know, nothing's hitting that rod. Second chub. I'm watching my feet here, running in small wellies. About the same size as the last one. Exactly the same tactic. Double chickpea. So low to the camera. And I'm going to put him straight back because I'm getting rather wet at the moment. See you in a bit. Okay, so it's getting stranger and stranger now because I've had three chub and all of them are as good as identical size fish. But uh, yeah, I'd probably say this one's a little bit bigger, but I'm talking ounces, not much in it. Yeah, he's put his fin up for you as well. Say hello to the camera. Yeah, probably close, we're getting closer to the two pound mark, nothing more. Certainly would fill a matchman's net, a few of these, wouldn't they? Anyway, I'll put him straight back. Catch him in a bit. Well, look what we've got. We've got a barbel. <laughs> He's not going to break the record, but I'll take you all day and night. One for the camera. And that was on a single chickpea this time round. But at the moment, it's a fisher cast. So I'm going to get straight back out there again. See you in a bit. You can appreciate, obviously, I'm having to film this inside the shelter for you. But the seat, the sweet, the sweet spot, the sweet spot, as I'm casting to my right hand side down this inside crease, it's just landed in a hole there. I'm just going to show you just up to where the, the rod is. A bit of a focus on this. But so far, 
the last two chub in particular, it's been one fish after the other on the same spot. Um, I am just fishing on one chickpea now. As you can appreciate, if that does go, I've got to grab it, so I'll have to put you down. <laughs> but we are getting some action now, and it just seems to be the sweet spots just coming into that area. And the feed, just that little fish over the back there. <laughs> there must be a chub or a, a pike after that, but he's, uh, he's doing a one, two, three jump there, isn't he? Anyway, back onto this, uh, this sweet spot here. So it's just settling in, and it's like there's a hole there. My opinion now, we're in the witching hour, and um, I'd love to finish off with a de decent chub or barbel, I really would, but as we had the other day, I wouldn't say no to a nice roach, because at the end of the day they all count to me, and um, yeah. Isn't it strange though, same tactics on a different day. That was a big fish, I don't know if you just heard that. <laughs> that was a right slam dunk. Well, what's going on in this swim at the minute? Anyway, sorry, back to what I was saying. I really don't mind. I just love river fishing. I just love the variety of it. You can be on one peg and catch, like the other day, chub. Roach, barbel. Today, chub all around the same size. And a small barbel to boot. There's, just, there's always that chance of something decent. That's the beautiful thing about river fishing. <laughs> well, folks, the chub are getting bigger. Say hello to the camera, and uh, I'm definitely going to sell that over two pounds. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just got it in. I thought it was a dead weight, I thought I got something stuck on it. No, it was a nice chub, beautiful. I'll put him straight back and say, see, what, see what else we can get before it goes too dark. Catch up in a bit. <laughs> tell you this is the biggest barbel I've had this season <laughs> certainly on the chickpea this season anyway uh, is a bit special uh, I just want to make sure I've got him right I don't think he's quite double figures but he's uh, he's decent oh, there we go folks I'm not going to bother with the hello, say hello to the camera. What a beautiful, beautiful barbel. I'm going to weigh him very quickly before I put him in. I would hazard a guess seven and a half to eight pounds, but he's got a right mush on him. I'm about to finish because <laughs> just like the other chub I had earlier, not too dissimilar. But I'll take him nevertheless. Say hello to the camera. Go and get yourself some chickpeas from the Tesco's. I mean, I know they are a definite firm favourite with me. Um, and as I say, this isn't a paid... I'm not getting paid by Tesco. I wish I was. I think there should be, to be fair. But um, it's about catching. And a couple of those fish I've had today were just straight out the tin. And it was just to prove a point. So... Um, but for me, flavouring them and things like that, I do enjoy. Um, but at the same token, if you just want to go out for a couple of hours, go and get a tin of chickpeas from the Tesco's, empty the water out, you know, and just pick. You'll know that, that, that it says the nutty, and they are, to be fair to Tesco, they are as close a chickpea to a nut as you're going to get. And I mean, Jesus, yep, this is a barbel. 
Well, you're actually going to get me. Oh, God, I nearly slipped. Oh, I'm only doing this. On, I'm only crouching to the floor because obviously, just to show that it is genuine. <laughs> it is. This is definitely my last cast. And it could be finishing off with a barbel. Let's put it this way. If it's anything else, it's blooming decent. I know that much, but yeah, it's got it's got to be a barbel all day and night. I don't think it's a very big one. It's a bit wily. It's normally when they're a bit wily, they're a bit smaller for me. That last one went up the river slowly. <laughs> it gave me a merry fight, but it's all fun, isn't it? And I don't think there's a better way of finishing this off as it stands with a potential fish because one thing I have learned in my lifetime is the moment you say those immortal words you've got it you ain't so it's a, it's a very how shall I put it it's given me a bit of a ride shall we say but um, yeah hopefully see I, I don't do myself any favours and some would argue you're crazy because I use barbless hooks but 99% of the time when I'm river fishing they normally you normally get them do you know what I mean it's just my personal opinion I, I, I have no objection to however you guys fish because who am I to say I just like using barbless hooks um, it's kind of I want to say grown up with it far from it um, yeah, I'm going to switch you off in just a moment, just so I'll get him in. But we've nearly got him. And then I've got a... Yeah, it's a barbel. It's nothing big. And I've just got to go and reach my net, which is down here, and it's a bit slippy. So bear with me, I'm still here, folks. <laughs> I'm certainly nicked one pearly one here. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I've nearly got him, but uh, not quite. And until he's in that net, he ain't mine. It's only a small. I've just had quite a glimpse of him. He's only a small one, but I will take him. Say that. Yeah, he's not huge. He's not big. But, um, let's put it this way: I won't be weighing him, but he's certainly giving me a good sport at the moment. I thought I got him. <laughs> Oh my goodness me, heart in the mouth moment there, I got him in there and he got back out again. Yeah, I'm going to hazard a guess, three, four pounds, what I've just seen. So there you go folks, there's the finale. Predator, well not predator in miniature, but yeah, fabulous fish aren't they, barbel. I'll give that maybe three to four pound at maximum, but I'm overjoyed. So I'm going to put him straight back and I'll be back with you in one minute. It's 10 o'clock on the dot. It's hard to believe when you think it looks so light, but when you're actually living this at the moment, it's dark. Anyway, I really, really hope you've enjoyed uh, those few hours this afternoon. Um, I certainly have. Um, <laughs> I'm bruised and battered. I picked a peg, probably one of the hardest pegs down here to set up with the camera, um, but it was worth it. It started off slow, but we got there in the end and that's all that matters to me. And um, well, there's only one thing for me to say, as all you guys know what I do at the end here. If you like what you've seen, hit the like button. And if you want to see more, smash up the subscribe. Thanks for watching.